Hi, I'm Phil. Hi, I'm Kate. So we're here again to talk about feet and specifically um, we're talking about heel pain in kids that play sport. So we see lots of kids that play sport and at a certain age, there's a um, there's a heel pain problem that we see a lot yeah. of, right? Yeah. yeah. So what is that called, Kate? So it's called calcaneal apophysitis or Severs disease is what it's more commonly known as. Yeah. And it's a problem that we see, it's at a certain age because it's an issue with the growth plate in um, one of the bones in the heel, the heel bone. So um, it's a very painful condition. So often kids will be limping, They'll, they might be able to start a game of footy, but then by you know halfway through or a quarter of the way through, they're gonna come off because they're in so much pain, they're limping, they can't run properly, or any other sports as well. But um, yeah, really, really, really painful condition. So. The condition, I'll explain a bit more what the condition is. Um, when we're born, all our bones are quite rubbery, so we're sort of made out of cartilage. Those bones go through a process we call ossification, so they go from cartilage to bone. Now, for a bone to keep growing, it's gotta have um, a couple of um, ossification centers, we call it. So the bone, every bone starts as more than one bone and then turns into one bone. Uh, now that happens, and when, when a bone, um, fuses and becomes one bone, that's it, it stopped growing then. So we have them through all the parts of our body, uh, long bones, short bones, in the middle bones, but in the heel bone, there's this secondary growth area there. So the growth actually occurs in this, in this gap here. So that's what allows the bone to continue to grow. And then when that final growth plate fuses, that's it, the bone can't grow anymore. So now this condition, um, Severs disease, is a problem where that bone is trying to fuse, but it keeps getting displaced, uh, and which is sort of getting knocked out of place. And mm -hmm. the reason it's so painful, it's like having a fractured heel bone, because essentially these little bits of bone are trying to heal and become one, and they're getting cracked and, mo and they're moving. And, and it's the same as if you were to, you know, jump off something and, and crack your heel bone. It's, mm -hmm. it's horrible, painful, painful condition. So now the, it's all great to know what it is, yeah. but the next question, which I said I would answer, <laughs> is why does it happen? You know, not every kid gets the same problem. Um, the reason it happens is because of tension on that growth plate. So the problem in this area is that the Achilles tendon comes down here. You can sort of see it on this x-ray, grabs onto the back there. And underneath here, there's a tendon called the plantar fascia that grabs it there. So there's sort of a tug of war happening. And if we've got tightness in either the Achilles or in the plantar fascia underneath, that bone is going to get shifted backwards and forwards. Combine that with running around the footy field, jumping around the basketball court, doing any sort of sports activities like that, it hurts. Yeah. Yeah. And that bone's trying to heal, but it can't. So now, um, often what happens at this stage is people will seek help and be told that this problem will go away on its own and um, it will take about 12 months. We don't reckon that's good enough. We, we can get cases like this usually feeling really good again within a four to six week period. So how do we do that, Kate? How do we fix this problem? So yeah, the main thing we wanna help is to take the, the tension away, the pulling forces, the tug of war yeah. going on. Um, so how we do that is look at popping something underneath the foot to lift it up and yep. take the force away like an orthotic um, and we can pop that in, in your school shoes, in your footy boots and um, yeah, we notice a massive difference. Yeah, that's yeah. that's probably one of the main things we'll add into the mix. Mm. Um, combined with that, what other sort of treatments, what kind of homework do we give people to do? Yeah, so we send you home with a, a few exercises as well, yep. um, just to stretch out the Achilles tendon and the plantar fascia and um, let it all relax a bit. Yeah, particularly when those muscles are tight or weak, yeah. everything sort of gets a bit out of balance. And the third thing that we usually have to look at, we were talking about this before, is footwear. So often mm -hmm. um, if you're in a really flat, hard footy boot or a pair of shoes that aren't very supportive, it'll increase the tension either at the back or the bottom that will you know, cause that to be sore. So. Yeah. Um, but I would say, and there's some really good um, studies that have just come out in the last few weeks that show the effectiveness of using custom orthotics to support the foot to help offload this bone and that, mm -hmm. that, that is a 
much better treatment option. Um, so an off the shelf device, so something from the shop or something that you just put in your shoe that's not made to the foot, usually isn't effective for this. It, it can be helpful for other conditions, for kids, yeah. but for this, custom orthotics. Now they do cost a bit more, right? You're out of pocket. If you've got good private health, could be a few hundred dollars to do this, but the other option is 12 months of pain. Yeah. And if your kids are playing sport, there's money involved in, in you know paying for that sport. If you're paying the money for the sport and the clothing and whatever, but you can't do the sport, you know, mm. it's, that sucks. So um, we are really, our thing is really getting people back to living their life without foot pain. So if that's you, or if that's your desire for your, your child with heel yeah. pain, we would love to help, you know. Um, we've got really good protocols because we see this so much. Yeah. This is a problem that we see. Um, and often it's being sent over from our GP physio mm -hmm. colleagues that they do what they can do and then they send us to do what we yeah. can do. Yeah. Um, so the school holidays are coming up. So if your child has this problem, if they're returning to sport after all the COVID shutdowns and their pain's coming back, come and see us because me, Kate, Bindi and Esther, we'd love yeah. to help. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's a <laughs> six and a half minute video. So that's <laughs> enough on heel pain. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.